DOIA possess various attractive advantages, making an ideal destination for international firms and investors. The UIA administration has indeed taken a most advantageous out of the condition that provided, and given the recent measurement issued and applied the administration and entitles, what surely continue to see this unique characteristic drawing in ever more attention and interest when it comes to the digital economy. One obvious advantage of the UAA would be a geographically location located in the Arabic Peninsula and one could communicate and interact with the most every time zone on the earth in a day or physically reach any major financial center in Asia, Europe and Africa such as Beijing, London or Cape Town or within 8 hours further the location of the UAA provides international firms and investors a convenient gateway to access various markets in all surround continents and regions this is an advantage that can place some critical rules when it comes to international trade and commerce as his excellent omar sultan al oman explained in d the first is geography i think this is a natural advantage you're able to wake up in the morning and serve asia you're able to serve europe uh, at noon and you're able to serve the u.s and North America towards the end of the day and still get a full night's sleep, which doesn't actually exist in many other places. The second fact is the fact that you know, the, the access to mobility that you have here, that you're able to fly anywhere across the world to have business meetings, to actually attend conferences and other things within a day. And then the third and most important, I think, is the fact that today, because of the UAE's purposeful direction towards it being a neutral country and a country that works with everyone, um, we're able to attract the best talent globally, regardless of their nationality, to the UAE. So you're able to have companies that have an order of magnitude of output compared to their peers with less funding and less manpower. Dubai has really created a hyper-connected uh, market, so it gives companies access to some of the interesting markets in Europe, Middle East, Africa and Asia. And that is coupled with a low tax environment and very pro-business regulations and environment. With the latest development of the UAA alongside the development of the digital economy, the policies and the insights of the UAA and Dubai where critical is allowed the country to make the most out in natural advantages and continue to do so at the aid the country's growth the field of the digital economy. For example, the cryptocurrency center of the DMCC, which established in 2021, offered an unparalleled convenience and freedom of their international customers with the low barrier of entry combined with comprehensive measure that smooths and process for the firms and businesses entering the market. The one of King offering the UAE is in tights have created a favorable environment that would provide even more traction for trades, capitals and talents which would yield additional benefits for international firms and investors in China and Dubai. So the beauty of our process is that it's 100% online, paperless and digital. So the entire process talks up, takes about two weeks and as soon as the process starts online, we have a dedicated team of crypto experts who can get in touch with the client and help them through this process. And in case that the license they're applying for is regulated, we even help with guidance on the crypto regulations and how to get in contact with the regulators. While securing the greatest extent of freedom and convenience for their international audiences, entities and legislation within the UAA have also created a legal regulator created for business and investor entering Dubai. The comprehensive development of the UIA in the field of the digital marketing means that this legislative and the regulative major now extend to cover actions and projects pertaining to virtual assets and the digital economy as well. في غياب أي تشريع كان من السهل ومن الصعب في نفس الوقت على هذه الشركات وعلى الأفراد تعامل في هذا المجال ولكن بعد خلق هذه الإطارات التشريعية بات هذا الأمر في متناول الجميع وبات هناك حماية للمستهلك إذ أن المستهلك لم يعد عرضة للإحتيال والغش الذي أصابه في بداية عام 2019 وانتهى عند صدور القانون في 2022